Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer World. So right now, we are in or on the Groundbreaker, and let's go ahead and talk to Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Sounds like someone needs to be shot in the head. Um, anyways, pay 10,000 10, bits? Nah, I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. Um, the walls have ears, Gladys. About those secrets you had asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Found some toothpaste, but then I unfound it. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Um, some research on Raptodon Musk. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting rats from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Alright, I found a prototype weapon schematic from Force. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. I think that's it. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Alright, uh... They're now friendly. Um... Alright, got some stuff. Ask you something else? What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? You mentioned groundbreakers outside of control. What do you do here? Why'd the board recall the keys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Um, are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Hmm. Alright. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Hmm. There's too many people... What happens if I try to break this open? Everyone's watching me. Well, hold on. Let's first go to here. So, I decided to try out the f ultimatum, the the gun schematic gun that we got at the end of last episode. It sells for a lot of money, but I want to see what happens if we actually use it compared to the vermin, that revolver that we also got. Uh, Armor-wise, we got some armor that we could sell. Um, yeah, nothing really interesting. Let's go to journal. Passage in a purchase. I need a purchase? I could kill her for it? Uh, offered a job investigating a distress signal on Terra 2. June Lay is always willing to put Captain's work. If I had to buy it, so be it. I will play this campaign again where I will not buy it from her. Instead, I'll just take it. Time so. for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No, I'll just pay you the bits. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear. As these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Oh, I see what we can trade to make some back. I found a handsome ceramic mandipillar at a salvage auction last week. To make some bits back. Um, I have a lot of ammo. That's good. Let's see. Plasma rifle. Well, I'm kind of switching over. The condition's okay. Let's just go ahead and sell that. Now let's sell all of our junk. Still got quite a few bits. That's pretty good. 
Uh, I like the Raptor Prod. It does quite a bit of damage, but it's worth so much. I just, I'm just gonna sell it. This one, might as well sell. I'm gonna keep this for now. See what happens. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, health stuff. Cool. I mean, I don't use a lot of this stuff really, so I don't feel bad about selling it. Weapon attack speed, walk speed. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. What's this? Mind attributes plus one. Max health. Just go ahead and get rid of all that. Um, body attributes. Yeah, I don't use a lot of this. Crackers, cheese, pea-free nuts, and purple berries, all packed and kept refrigerated for a quick lunch. I like that. I like the effect of health regen, but uh, it's just weapon spread goes down, weapon sway goes down, weapon range weapon spread goes up. Oh, range weapon spread goes down 50%. Uh, okay, spacer's chaw is interesting. Zero G brew. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get rid of five of these. Why not? Uh, repair. Oh, we got quite a few of these things here. Fun times barrel. We're gonna sell two of these. I'm gonna make some of my money back. Mag to power. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so what do we need to do now? I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Cool. Monarch is a wretched hive of terrorism and anarchy. We'd best top off our ammo stock before we leave. Cool. Uh, what other quests do we have? I have a nav key. Weapons from the void. Ooh, acquire the science weapons on Groundbreaker. Find them. We are back here on the Lost Hope. And I am a sucker for that XP. Wait. Mardet? Yep, Mardet, just police officer. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I don't know about you, but I would probably just hammer down a bunch of shots of vodka or something. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake thinking about what Jim Lay said. I give him a heart shake. Oh god, let's just get this lesbian stuff over with. I just want your XP. <laughs> now much of a drinker, better start slow with a beer. Whiskey is efficient. Yes. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'll take your word on it. Or bottoms up. Or vodka. Whiskey's a fine choice. Think I may have a glass myself. Oh. No, it's good. I'm I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? That's the alcohol talking. You need more of it. <laughs> Enjoying a drink with your friends? Or generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just with June Lay. I don't know what to do about us. Forget her and move on. <laughs> Just shrug. Free shrugs. Uh, start by telling me uh, why you got so unsettled. I don't want to t turn this into a long lesbian discussion. Just come on. Just give me your XP. Beats me. I got a rough track record with relationships. You and me both, Captain. I'm just... She brought up another lady, you know? Isabel. Why would she do that? Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What's she actually writing the message? You haven't said. No one said terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Uh, what is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Alright, let's get some shots persuade. Let's get you some water. 
Yeah, I wonder if this is going to affect her combat abilities. Waters were cowards. Okay, maybe you're right. I am right. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. Oh. oh Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Uh, you need to get over it? Uh, just about what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? What if I just blasted everyone's head off? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just here for the booze. You're on a roll, no wonder you're scared. There's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Sounds like divorce to me. Oh, um, go your own separate ways. Yeah. What, just move on? Like, snapping your fingers? I don't know. Maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems... impossible. Yeah, just get your emotions. Like any normal person. Just get them. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. Just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Alright, something to work on then. We all do... Yeah. I like the way you put that, like... It's okay to want to be better for her, but not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Alright. Are you going to ask her out? Anytime. Do you think I should ask her on a... Date? Hey! I'm joining you with my cat, Binky. Persuasion. Don't ask for my opinions. Believe in yourself. Ah, uh, we're using persuasion. We might as well do that. Right, Bink? Alright, alright. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Huh. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Is that really all the alcohol we're gonna have? If we're drinking, we're gonna be drinking very hard, man. Like, we're gonna be doing, like, drunk hoi four. I mean, yeah, boy. Or female, if you're female. Uh, is there anything else here? Let's see. Take Parvati back to the ship. The empty men. Where is a stupid security terminal? Oh, let's get that ID card. We're gonna need that. Let's put away my gun. People might not like that. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Nice. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy, kind of all the time. I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just. Irritated by your name questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. You're an artist, Captain. Oh, wait. I can go up? Nice, you'll use a lockpick. Was I already up here? I think I already was up here. I'm also joined here by my cat, Binky. He's now on my chair. Oh, hello. Uh... Oh, there's a terminal over... Oh, that way, okay. 
Let's go ahead and reset ourselves. Uh, you don't need to run, Vicar Max. Sealed. Go ahead and pick the lock. Awesome. Eject docking records, data cartridges, confiscated goods, security logs. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for. Where is his out. scholar? Commandants. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. All right. Uh, what bounties do you have? I don't care. Notice the bounty ponies on Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella. Right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. All right, got it. Is he a famous criminal or something? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. All right, cool. I'll see you later. And now, my cat Binky seems to be getting a little more uppity, we'll say. I'm going to talk to Vicar Max. Hello, Vicar. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? All right, you hesitated there, Vicar. What are you not telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Well, that seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. All right. I already said that. Let's go. And we need to go to potentially no Monarch. One saw me trip over there, right? Uh, what are the quests we have? To track down Reginald Chani. Install the acid steeper, which will do. Salvager in the sky. Uh, maybe we'll talk to her, see what happens. We might not ever come back here to Groundbreaker, except maybe in another campaign. So, I want to finish this place up. Bink, you okay? Huh? All right, we got to go to not there, not the hospital. Go all the way up to Lilla, Lilia, whatever her name is, L. Hello, my creepy companions. You are scarily fast sometimes. Lilia Hagen. Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. I could just blow your head off, you know. I got a nav key. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. All right, I guess I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood. That's why I've got uh two companions. Don't go looking for anything except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Sounds good to me. How are you doing, Vicar? Hello. Uh, anything else here? Cleaning machine, empty man, Parvati, retrieve missing passcode, and find Captain Irion. Um, and then, oh, science weapon. I want that science weapon. Oh wait, how do we get the science weapon? Logs, Groundbreaker scientist. I know the Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Hmm, maybe I have to talk to Gladys again. Oh, I'll hurt anybody I have to. Me? 
Bing bing. Getting kind of close to the edge of the bed there. I might look into Gladys's safe since I can pick the lock anyways, so we'll see what happens. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Uh won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Uh, oh, wow. Salvager's Helper. Interesting, interesting. Anything she's now available, you can purchase this restricted stock. Plasma Launcher. Reactive Kinematic Shield. That sounds kind of cool. Bink? Yeah? Yeah, Bink. Oh, goodness. He just dropped some clothes on the floor. Great. Clothes that were on my bed. Um, I, I probably have to look into a record. Actually, ooh, buy quest stuff. Archive catalog. Public records. Actually, I, I can still buy whatever I need to, so buy that. Battered Mardet data pad. Yeah, buy that. Reports from various Mardet security patrols. Details of fa simple finds and dust-ups between crews of Wildcat Freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. Anything here? All right. Nice. And we need to get to Groundbreaker Weapon. Yeah? Binky, you're not going to bite me. If you bite me, you're not going to like me. Oh, yeah. It's not stealing if it's not red, right? Oh, looks a little sludgy. But, alright, we'll take whatever we can in here. Ming. Just take a nap, Bing. Take a nap. Yep, and there went my water. Thanks a lot, Bing. Uh, how do we get... Hold on. How, how do we get over there? Um, There's an objective, like... Right in front of us. I want that weapon. I'll break my legs if I have to. Whee! Oh, yeah. A little vent. We were here bef hey, before. Hey, ever get a little bit home? Squatter's journal. Fresh water? That yeah, we were here before. No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes. To explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> Of course you do. Oh shit, what? Oh. Oh god. Oh. Well, I don't know if I can get up there. Back in the hospital. Let me put my gun away. Don't mind me, I'm just a doctor like you. Yeah, I don't know if I can get over there. Maybe we have to go from outside first. Maybe that'd be for the best. Alright. Very good. Uh, yeah, this is probably the way we gotta go. Ah, uh, yes. I remember this. We had to go down that chute. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Ah, huh? uh, a dead body. Workbench. Very nice. Ah, uh, I need more. Ah, oh, I need more skill. I can't get in there. Don't say it's so. Oh, I missed this, though. Gr oh, grenade launcher? Awesomeness. Can't come over here. Um. Well. Oh, there's a little bit of platforming we could do over here. Doesn't look like I can actually get in that room because my lock picking skills, they just ain't good enough. And I can't jump up here for some reason. But now I can. Oh, there's actually quite a few things here. Heavy ammo. A tremor cleaver. And nothing in the bin, of course. Break my legs! But not this time. Journal. Well, we can't get the science weapon right now. We can wait on it, though. Retrieve Hesphestus Mining Archive on Hawthorne's Terminal. Well, whatever. Um, retrieve the missing passcode. Take part of body. We'll do that, probably. But, check our inventory of weapons. What is this? Does not look very good. We have a grenade launcher, though. Which doesn't look good, either. So, let's go ahead and go back to the ship. Reliable interior or docking base? Well, let's go to the interior. Oh. No. 
Right. Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Max. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to get my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. You didn't have that much. Glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent. Anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Well, she wants to be somewhat okay in grammar. <laughs> okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So, uh, she does like you, big misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still ain't. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Alright. Sounds, sounds like... Oh, look at that XP. Almost 17,000. That's so good. Now, I hear there's people uh, kind of complaining or uh, bitching at each other. What's going on? Oh, Ellie. Does she have an... Oh, she has a skill point upgrade that I'm never going to use. A heal amount granted by the medical inhaler. Um, and I guess... Yeah, why not? Parvati, Vicar Max, no. Um, oh yeah, definitely do that. What is, what is this one? Track down. Space-time continuum. Yeah, let's install the thing. Cool. Oh, people are yelling at each other up here, maybe? Max and Ellie. Oh. Install the acid steeper. Oh. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! Hello! This SAM unit is unable to locate your register information. Would you like to Whoa. register your SAM? Sure. Registering new owner. Captain. Welcome to the crew. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. Oh. Well, all right then. Let's go talk to Ada. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Ah, sure. Put him on screen. Well done. That was fast. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Alright, just tell me what to do. Sounds like, sounds like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Alright, where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way wow. to Hiram Blythe's compound. Um, maybe some questions? I don't want to ask him too much. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Alright, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Awesome. That's what we for. So if we're going to go to Monarch, and there's a lot of politicians there, we're going to need to... I was going to say, make sure that we're equipped to deal with the politicians, but maybe a little bit more persuasion, maybe... We need to get up to 100. 
five there, and then I'm going to start... Actually, I can't go above 100. That's cool. Uh, Liar, Intimidate, we might want to increase that as well. But I do want to increase my lockpicking skill because obviously we need to. Seeing as we couldn't get into that door earlier. So I'll do that, and I'll do one more for tech. Uh, actually, take one off of there. Um, crap. Maybe not. Oh, maybe I can't. Whatever. I was hoping to get engineering up to 40, but that's okay. Thank you. Puck. What type of puck do we want? Carrying capacity, vendor buying prices, extra weapon damage at for headshots, what health restored per kill, science damage, companion cooldowns, no restored. Uh, vendor prices could be better XP from companions. That's okay. Walk speed. Mm. Vendor buying price to pay more bits when I sell stuff. That's not bad. You know what? I like consumable boy. We'll do hoarder eventually, but let's do snake oil salesman so we can get a little bit, just a tiny bit more bits. All right, let's go ahead and go to. Oh, we could go to Phineas's lab. There is something we could find on Phineas's lab. So let's go there real quick. Probably not that long. We'll be there maybe five we minutes have max. We arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Um. Well, let's see what our journal says. Science weapon on the groundbreaker, which will come on later. Uh, acquire Phineas's science weapon. Matt Pascoe, the empty man. Now let's explore. I haven't been here yet. Please avoid damage. Oh, I could take Sam, but I like these two companions for now. Uh, if we ever play this game again, which I probably will, I'll probably n not even use Parvati or Victor Max. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Wow, this is Does big. This I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Shrink ray, science weapons. They're unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skills increase. Uh -huh. I see nice. You Alright, well, let's see. We got the shrink ray. Nice. Doesn't do a lot of damage. But that's okay. Oh, we'll put it where the melee is right now because we don't really use melee very much. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. <coughs> Too satisfactory of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Is he hiding something? I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Now talk about something else. You know, if of course. if we got a lot of like consumables, what's on your mind? Could we like help revive other people, or some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here. You know, I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. <laughs> ah, the wanted criminal himself. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just huh. enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Um, okay. I didn't mean to upset you. No, no, I was being rude. I'm not accustomed to extending hospitality, and I've never had uh, visitors before. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found the crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist, after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Mm, 
you're doing you're right, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Alright, well, I guess we'll see him later. Of course. I'll be here, as usual. It seems like he's hiding something. I'm not really sure what it is. But he's like the one character you just can't kill off in this game. Which, you know, I guess makes sense. He's part of the story and stuff, so. Personal files. Bypass. Ooh, another log entry. Um, down to Hawthorne to escape via pod. Agreeable companion. Acceptable chaperone. He isn't a total buffoon. Alright. What is this? Hibernation helmet? Alright, what is this? Hi D hibernation experimentation notes. Eh, not really interesting. Oh! Bubbles. Oink, oink. Uh, is that your what the cyst pig? I mean I guess I'll pick up the posters. Doesn't sound like he's objecting to it too much. Examine by ladder. He's quite the uh, doctor, I'd say. Obscure body and SK system. Well then, what is it? Oh, hibernation chamber. You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. Yeah, I don't know if I really trust Phineas that much. 14 is time. Remember it this time. Absolutely vital. 14, 14, 14, 14. Terminal. Bodies. I love the bodies. Messages. Bypass. Blythe. Work, worked it out. Details later. Need your help? Huh. Turn to root. Oh, I know. Pocket watch. Nothing in the bin. Oh, there's still meat on him. That's hasn't expired yet. Mop up melted pig. Sealed. Man. Well, let's get out of here, I guess. There's not really anything to Phineas Wells, except we kind of discovered that he's a little out there. And he seems to be hiding something that he doesn't want anyone to know about. Which leaves me questioning him, but there's really not much we can do about that. Hmm. 21st century skip drive was invented. Interesting. Well, I've acquired poster. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet. Let's head on. Uh, we're on the groundbreaker. Let's go to the journal. Weapons from the void. Well, radio free monarch probably. Thank you. Let's get on over to monarch. Dangerous. Well, let's go to the normal stellar landing bay. Whee! Around Olympus. Boom. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Alright, let's see what's on the planet. Maybe I can use my shrink ray. Monarch. I love the monarch. Or the monarch? The planet monarch. Oh. This Tatooine, Stellar Bay. Well, it looks a little bit better than Roseway when we first landed there. Terminal? Nothing. Oh. Uh, I don't want to break my legs. Is there... Is there a way down? Oh, okay. Ugh. I'm sure someone somewhere just fell off. Cool. Whew. Hey, hold on there. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Um, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Uh, what are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Interesting. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Uh, Captain Mr. Mokalever, I'm Alex Hawthorne. Swell. There's one for the logs. Nice. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. 
I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is it really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Terrible. Well, you're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sondar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Alright, cool. The board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Oh, Oof. The nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Alright, well, I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Ah, uh, what is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Uh, uh, sure, I guess. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss it. Alright, cool. So that's all the time for that we have today. We have made it to Monarch after exploring... Uh, the rest of the Groundbreaker, as well as Phineas's labs, and discovered that Phineas isn't super normal. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you tomorrow as we explore the Monarch, the planet here. And I hope you all have a great, great day.